Hey everybody, it's Corey and Rhonda with Utah Dream Properties and Keller Williams. Today we're going to do a market update for you. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Okay, so we're going to do a little market recap for Davis and Weber counties for May of 22. And we've seen some changes, which is interesting, nothing drastic, but a few things change in the market. So our median sales price in Weaver County last month was 447. The month before was 452. So it's gone down a little bit. Nothing. Nothing too crazy. Drastic, yeah. but it has gone down a little bit. Um, the, Why did that happen? You know, I think it's because sometimes agents are still pricing homes pretty high. Thinking They're trying to get on that hockey stick. Yep. Yeah, it was you know three, four, five months ago you could price them that high, and now we're not seeing 20 offers on most homes anyway. Correct. We're seeing maybe three or four. So things have changed a little bit. I think that's the reason why, because we'll talk about this in a second. Davis County, their median sales price did not go down. Theirs actually went up. So I don't think it's across the market. It's just something that we've seen. Sure, oh, Weber that's good. County. And then, so in Weber County at $447,000, that'll get you just under 2,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. It'll get you a four bed, two bath. Yep, so, so pretty standard. Pretty standard house. It's yep. not necessarily it's right close to that first time home buyer. And in Davis County, yep. Got some different numbers there, right? Yeah, like I said, that price point went up a little bit. So in April, it was 541. In May, it went up to 545. So a little bit of movement there. Um, Davis County, our homes are a little bit bigger. Their average square footage or median square footage there was 2,300 square feet. And that was for a 4.3 compared to Weber at a 4.2. So a little bit different. A little different, but still both things are, are moving along pretty well at this point. And we have seen a little softening in the market, right? People mm -hmm. hear that term. What does that mean? Yeah, so for us, we have several buyers under contract right now, and we really didn't have to get too, too crazy with offers like we would have six months ago. Um, in fact, one of them, we have the seller's paying closing costs on it, and it was a newer listing. It's not like it was a house that was sitting on the market for a while. So that was kind of interesting. It's been a while since we right. were able to write one of those offers because we just don't see it. Um, Inventory-wise, too, right? So we've also, definitely. we've almost, we've doubled the inventory, yep. right, on the MLS. So that mean, that's yep. a difference, right? So we're seeing some homes stay on the market a little bit longer, which is nice. Yeah, and it's a lot more fun when you, you know, when you're a buyer and you're looking, instead of having one or two houses that meet your criteria, now there's five or six. So it's it's definitely good. Um, so really, what does that mean? Like, why do we talk about these numbers? Maybe you're watching our sure. videos and going, yeah, what does this mean for me? So so, so historically, right? So we, we don't have a crystal ball. Nobody has one. Right? We probably mm -hmm. wouldn't be talking to you right now if we had a crystal <laughs> ball. So. With that being said, we don't know what the market's really going to do, and we can see that it's changing and softened some here. Uh, interest rates have gone up a little bit. Does that all mean that it's gloom and doom? No, it doesn't. Uh, we're still buying homes. Um, people are still moving. And basically for buyers, right, interest rates went up a little bit. And we should also remember that the all-time average is right over 8%. Right, we've so talked we're still about that below before. That. So still if you you're go five, way back in not, your numbers. Yep, right? five is you're not. there. Yeah. Terrible. And then it's just sellers. not two anymore. It's right. not the two it's and a half that we saw. So we're just not used to these numbers, but yeah. they are still lower than what the average was. Mm -hmm. You know, we brought our first house, it was almost eight. It was like seven point right. six. So if you look at it that way on the buying side, great. Uh, on the selling side, there are a few more on the market, and we need mm -hmm. to educate our sellers that hey, it's gonna be on the market maybe for a little longer. Right. And that's not a bad thing. It's still selling in a month or less for the most right, part. Right, right. And if there's any repairs, you know, six months ago, maybe you could have got away with not doing some things. Now mm -hmm. it's like, get your house ready because buyers do have more things to compare to. Sure. So they're looking at your house and probably, or right. paint nicks and stuff like that. Right. right. Some of that stuff's not being overlooked. Mm -hmm. at this so point. when we work with sellers, we tell them that we, we do a walkthrough. We tell them what to fix, what not to fix. So if you're looking to sell, we'd love to help you look at numbers and let you know what you have to do and let you know what your competition is. And if you're a buyer, like I said, great news because there's more to choose from. Yeah, we do these videos every Friday. Bree's hard at work doing this stuff. So please like and subscribe. Uh, we want to hear from you too. Please get in touch with us. We want to know what you want us to talk about and what we want us to research for you. And we also want to help you buy, sell, and invest. So we're here via email, phone, text, whatever way you want us to do. All the information is down below. Bree's awesome at that stuff. Have a great day.